coming to you with a huge haul video. As indicated by the title of this video, I've got a bunch of stuff. New comic book day pickups and reviews because I picked up my new comic book day stuff late. A con that ended up being a lot better than what I imagined it would be. And some other mail call items. So if you want to hear all of that and see all of that, you got to stay tuned for the video. Now, before we get into all of this comic book goodness, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so when videos like this drop ever so randomly, you are one of the first people to know and can make the conscious decision as to whether or not to watch it now or later. As long as you watch it, we appreciate you. Talking about people we appreciate, how about the list of YouTube and Patreon channel members, people that are supporting the channel through one or both of these membership options. If you are interested in the benefits of joining either or both of these programs, then all you got to do is check out the link in the description below. Time to protect your valuables. So visit bcwsupplies.com. Use the coupon code SCG at checkout to save yourself 10% on the order, or there is a link in the description below for that as well. And one of the benefits of monthly mem our membership is our monthly giveaways. We've given away Uncanny X-Men 266s, uh, ASM 300s, et cetera, et cetera. This month, we are giving away an X-Men number four, first appearance of Omega Red, a 9-8 uh, of that. And if you are interested in getting in on that, all you got to do is either join the channel by one or both uh, YouTube and Patreon. Uh, for both membership or each membership, you get 10 uh, spots on the wheel. And for, for every dollar of all those on the end of the month on the wheel, and we'll spin it and we'll see who wins it. So there is that. Um, at the time of this recording, I'm freshly back, back uh, in, uh, in Covington, Louisiana, uh, or near Covington, between Covington and Slidell, Louisiana. Uh, it was a con that I went to back in 2019. I think they canceled it last year. Uh, and I didn't anticipate a lot. So, uh, you didn't really have to do all that much to excite me. Having said that, I walked away with that stuff. You know, a lot of the stuff I won't show today simply because it's stuff that I just bought to sell, bought for somebody in particular, things like that. Uh, but I will be showing my um, haul for my PC. Later in the video, stick around for that. Got to the uh, LCS and picked up uh, this week's pool. So let's see, nice house on the lake. So nice house on the lake, book five. I won't completely spoil it for you. Um, this is a 12-part miniseries. Uh, Tinny is doing so many other things. I just kind of wonder how much she can continue to juggle all these various projects. And... At the end of this, basically, they figure out that there might be a way for them to save the world still. So, uh, see how that twists uh, without giving all the rest of it away if you haven't already read it. So, I've been hearing some good stuff about Dark Ages. This isn't something, one of these other events that Marvel's just so fond of that I wasn't going to pick it up. Uh, however, when I saw this cover right here with X-23 on it and I heard some good stuff, I decided to pick it up and look for uh, one later because they didn't have a one. Spoiler alert, I found a, an issue one of Dark Ages at the con today. Then we got Joker Presents, a puzzle box, issue three. Um, this is a confusing uh, cluster, you know what, and... Um, just and not one of my favorite Batman titles. I'm hoping it's ending very soon. One that uh, have been enjoying, though, is Swamp Thing number eight. Uh, this is the Matina cover. Uh, super dope 
cover. Ron V on the writing, just been enjoying that as a guy who doesn't read or didn't know a lot about Swamp Thing. The Me You Love in the Darkness. So Scotty Young is not drawing this. He's writing it uh, like he did Middle West. But um, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, basically, you got this ghost. And uh, now we're going to have a Patrick Swayze to me more moment at the end of the book. So for those of you old enough to know what I'm talking about there, you know what's fixed to happen at the end of this book. And uh, yeah, we, we all know that this is going to take a twist and that the ghost is going to get jealous. And, uh, you know, if I can have you, nobody can type deal. You know, it's not going to be a happily ever after type situation. Uh, firepower number 16. This has been kind of a slow burn. Get that? <laughs> but anyway, it's been kind of a slow burn. Uh, but uh, it's, it's picking up. Robert Kirkman is one of those other writers. I mentioned uh, Tinian, but Kirkman's another one of those writers. that's just got a lot of stuff going on right now that I don't know how much really brain matter he's focusing in by putting in on a really good, telling a really good story. Hellions number 16. Uh, Hellions was definitely one of the, or the surprise title for me in the X line. I uh, did not expect a lot out of it. Picked up number one just because it was number one in the characters cast it had in there. Uh, but I actually enjoyed it. Zeb Wells was writing that. He's actually going to the Spider-Man title now that Nick Spencer's leaving. So maybe Spider-Man will pick back up. Don't know much about Zeb Wells other than what he done here. Uh, but this is kind of like a... New Mutants 87, yeah, New Mutants 87 homage because he says after life field down here. Um, but <clears throat> they basically disband at the end of uh, uh, of the of the series because Alex went nuclear basically and uh, everything hit the fan and uh, they decided to disband the team. Basically, they're just setting the stage to reset everything uh, like they've done before. We are the Walking Dead, which is the last statement that uh, he makes at the end of the book. Uh, always try to pick up these uh, David Finch covers, and definitely uh, you can tell and you know can kind of relate that if all of a sudden you are fighting for your life, not, not only against those that are still left and still scraping by for an existence. Uh, and all the drama that is in the middle of that, but had dead people trying to eat you, uh, you I could understand there'd be a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure. So uh, it's interesting in the sense that uh, people don't stay, seem to stay around too long. <laughs> Batman 114, the Ghost Maker connecting cover. I got the. Um, I got the Batman one, I guess, which is for last issue, and I've seen the Scarecrow, so I don't know if I missed the Scarecrow, and it was two issues before this, or after it. It's, this is starting to speed up. You can kind of tell that uh, Tinyan's uh, bringing it in for a landing for Williamson to pick it up, and uh, I, I actually enjoyed this issue. And they've kind of out of all the characters that Tiny and cast out there, threw up against the wall to see which one stuck. Ghostmaker seems to be the one that's stuck. Uh, obviously, you can tell you know a good backstory and build out his own mythos. Um, you know, it'll, it'll make something up. I also went to Ollie's, and uh, yes, ma'am. What? Yep. So I went to Ollie's and I picked up two trades. I think I paid three bucks for one and maybe four bucks for the other one. So it's a really inexpensive way to get a series or maybe iffy on. Uh, trades are in general, but especially like at uh, Ollie's. So this was uh, Batgirl from the New 52. This is the first six issues, Gail Simone writing, uh, Adam Hughes covers. They're all in here. And uh, this is when they first brought her back from the uh, incident in Killing Joke. And this is Batman and Robin, the new 52, which has the first eight issues in it. So glad to uh, pick that up on the cheap at Ollie's. And the thing about Ollie's, they also have action figures. So if you're an action figure, Marvel Legends collector, uh, some even some Star Wars Black Series stuff, they have it there. Uh, and
what a difference. So a lot of the times you go to the store, it looks like pretty much, you know, it's going to be standard that if they're all going to have DC McFarlane figures. We're all going to have this series of Marvel Legends that kind of all ink out at the same time. But at Ollie's, it's not necessarily the case. I've been to some Ollie's that had a lot more graphic novel. Uh, and I've also seen where people have picked up a lot more uh, action figures than what I've seen at the ones local to me. Uh, but it's just another store that you can go on the hunt for or the hunt at. And uh, so that always uh, makes it fun. I did also get a package from one Beta Ray Jim. Beta Ray Jim, that's right, Beta Ray Jim. And I will be opening it up today. So let's see, is this the package? Uh, no, these are the books I collect. So I, I picked up a bunch of Silver Age and Bronze Age Superman. Uh, yeah. The Marvel Tales covers uh, that uh, I'm super popular as of late. Uh, picked up all of those. Those are going to be for sale on an auction near you. Uh, will not have. Uh, well, I plan to have an auction by the time you see this video next Saturday. Uh, here at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time. So I picked this up, uh, Hulk number 11. Hulk number 11, I believe this is an homage to Defenders 1, maybe. Maybe King Size Defenders 1. Then we got Hulk number 5. Number 7. I'm not specifically going after the Volume 1 Hulk, which is the Red Hulk, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt Ross uh, storyline. Um, and I think it goes for like for 50 or 52 issues. I'm not specifically going after it, but if I can find them on the cheap, which I did in this particular instance, I picked these up for a buck. And so I couldn't pass them up. Hulk number nine. Got a nice old corner uh, box there like that. I had Hulk number three, or I have Hulk number three, the David Finch cover. I think this is the first appearance of A Bomb. I think maybe that's two. But uh, I didn't have this cover, so like I said, it was only a dollar. Then we got number 10, which I've got the, I had the other one that connects to that. It's the good guys on one side, and these is the bad guys one. So uh, it was cool to pick up Amazing Spider-Man Skating on Thin Ice. This is a McFarlane cover, and this is the Canadian edition. There is an American edition as well, and it's, uh, of course, a drug, uh, say no to drugs type deal uh, that he did. I mentioned that I picked up a Dark uh, Ages uh, book. This is the Scotty Young cover, so that was kind of cool. Only paid seven bucks, so two bucks over what it was. X-Men number four. This is, of course, not the Omega Red nor the uh, first Scarlet Witch. This is the Pizza Hut edition. See, there were four of these. This one is actually still in the poly bag. And there, there were four of them. And I had the other three. So I just needed that one. So now the circle is complete. <laughs> then we've got uh, Marvel Collector's Edition. This is Charleston Chew. So this was, and if you were a kid of the 90s or read comics in the 90s, you remember seeing that advertisement for this in the back of all uh, comics. And where you could send off to Charleston Chew with some wrappers and I'm sure like some shipping and you could get this back in the mail. Uh, so that was kind of cool. Masters of the Universe. That's right. Masters of the Universe, DC. Uh, so this is all three of them. All three of them packed in here. So that was pretty dope. <clears throat> and then this is probably one, or this is one of the big con pickups that I got today. Um, so this is Teen, the new Teen Titans, or the Tales of Teen Titans, number 44. This is the first appearance of Nightwing. Origin of Deathstroke, and I believe the origin of Jericho as well. So this is, and it's a newsstand, and it's been one that I've been just kind of on my, on my radar. It's been popping ever since the Titans uh, series has come out, uh, and I was like, eh, I don't want it, but I don't want to pay that much for it. So saw it, was able to uh, 
get it for about five dollars cheaper so picked it up for 40 bucks so like that you know i'm a sucker for valiant in particular chromium valiant so i got one two three four five copies of psi lords five copies of psi lords yes if chromium ever becomes a rare metal i'm gonna be rich i'm gonna be rich uh, because i've got a bunch of it talking about chromium i've got some turon goodness yes i found these in the quarter bins uh incredible hulk annual number 17. I'm not specifically collecting the annuals i like to get that one that's like the first uh modern age appearance of uh, root but other than that I, I really wasn't not worried about the annuals but it was buck so what do you do this was the other big pickup hulk 105 so as you can see i paid 10 bucks for it so it is in 10 buck shape and uh, this is shortly after the uh, conversion from tails to a Tales to Astonish to Incredible Hulk, and it, um, it must have had these like just in a box somewhere because there were several of them. It looked like uh, a rat kind of just got hungry right here, and it, they had several that it was all on this side. So this one wasn't too bad. It didn't really mess with the picture or, or gonna mess with the story. So it should be okay there. And for two bucks. There you go. Geomancer number one, another Chromium Valiant goodie. I forget what issue this was, but I did check to make sure I did not have it. But this is Magnus the Robot Fighter from Gold Key Comics. Gold Key. Another comic that I always get when I can find it on the cheap. Wildcats number two, first prismatic cover. Picked up Star Wars Darth Maul Death Sentence. And guess what? It's a newsstand. That's right. So it's a newsstand. Then we got uh, issue two of that series. Got Star Wars Republic 53. Seventy-eight, and then Star Wars Obsession, issue five of five, Massage Ventress, right thing. And we got Incredible Hulk one forty-seven, twenty cent Hulk for three bucks. Come on, people! What, what do you want? What do you expect me to do? What do you expect me to do? Then we got Turok number one. And yeah, I paid a little bit more for that one, $3. And that's about my limit. You know, I, there, there were several uh, bloodshot ones that people had, but they all wanted five. And I'm like, I just don't want five. Daddy. Daddy. And um, not, not when I already have as many as I do. You know, $3 and below, I'll usually pick those up. Same with the uh, Bloodshot Zero, uh, Shadow Man uh, Zero, some of those uh, like that. Green Lantern number 49. Yes, this is when uh, Hal Jordan goes nutso, starts killing everybody. And I think he kills everybody in here except for Kilowog and Sinestro, which he kills in 50. And that's when he takes over becoming uh, uh, what's it, Parallax. Incredible Hulk 172. Yeah, team up with Juggernaut. 175. And of course, there's a Inhumans appearance there. Batman 36. The Lego edition. Look, Joker, Lego Joker. <laughs> and then I got uh, Superboy number zero. First cameo of King Shark. And there's something, I think these came in the D DC packs of some kind. Of course, you got a newsstand, you got the direct, you got the DC Universe logo in there, but there's another logo, something to do with this. So, picked that up on the cheap as well. So, yeah, this is a lot more. I mean, these are all for the PC, 
And so that's a lot more than what I anticipated coming away from the show. I actually didn't pick up a toy at the show. I fully anticipated it being a show that was more toy centric. Uh, have a couple of comics that were either overpriced or just total trash. Uh, but they did have some decent uh, wall books there. Most of the stuff that I saw, I think it, you know, the big books that is, I already had. So uh, there were some that I, I liked, but were way overpriced. Uh, so this, uh, I did this at a Walmart on the way back. Uh, so this is one of uh, seven of the new Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse line. This one does not have uh, a piece of a Colossus figure in here like the other ones do, but I wanted to get Magneto anyway. So one down and six to go. My son's itching to, for me to open it. Uh, so let's see what else we got from Beta Ray Jim. And if you haven't done so already, Go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you watching um, too. And if you don't mind, hit that subscription and the bell notification. So when these videos go up ever so randomly, you will not miss it. Always good. Glad when I get these uh, Spider-Man booth boxes from sellers. Uh, which he buys a lot from Spider-Man Boo, so he probably has a whole room for a little. Uh, right. So this was the big book that I picked up from him. This was Buy it Now that I did. Uh, it's X-Men number 21, I think. With the uh, Mississippi Gal Road. Most of his stuff that I get from him are in the random pool box that he does. Let's see what else I got from him here. And most of the time, it's stuff that I just turn around and sell. A lot of stuff that I've either gotten from buying Spider-Man booth boxes or it's just not my my for my taste. Uh, Hellions number three. This is a red or dark Phoenix suit, and then the green regular Phoenix suit, uh, both trade dress. And I think then there's a virgin of either one or two of those. I've already got this one. Amazing Spider Man 44, Perillo, Green Goblin. Rorschach issue number one. Oh, truly. Oh, truly. Amazing Spider-Man 58, the action figure variant. Daredevil 29, David Nakayama with the almost negative space. Does a lot of these. Uh, Punchline. Get it? Punchline? Uh, so that's another David Nakayama cover. Batman and Catwoman would have definitely, this is the David Finch, I believe. Yeah, David Finch uh, version. I would have definitely kept this one had I not just bought it a couple months ago at a con. Uh, Hellions number 10, another David Nakayama almost virgin variant. This is Captain Marvel 18, the virgin. Now this is, this was a really dope one. I think I'm going to keep this one. Is X-Men 20 uh, in hook. In Huck Lee cover. Magneto just ripping his way through a Sentinel. So that was pretty dope. I don't think I got that one. And then this is Venom number 25. Venom 25. Uh, I think this is a second or a third print. Quit. You think you need to open it before I do? No, you don't. And then we got Batman 108, first Miracle Molly. I do not have this cover. Uh, not sure who does this cover. It says M.M. -M.
Uh, I'm not sure who done this though, so anyway. But pretty cool cover nevertheless. So I've got two out of the full box. So basically the way he does does it, uh, he does, um, let's see, you do five pull, I, you do, he, I do this $10 pull box and they're $10 a piece. Then that puts me two uh, spots on the wheel for both that night and also the monthly prize that he gives away. So there is some value there. And then uh, he also, uh, you get one free. You know, so buy five, get one free. <clears throat> so there's definitely a value there uh, as well. So I uh, picked up those. Uh, like I said, this is a, uh, was one I bought because I knew I wanted it. Uh, and then this, this is two that I pulled out of the pull box. Anytime you can get something out of the pull box that I actually want to keep is, is a real good thing. Um, so the rest of these, there would have been two that I would have kept had I didn't already have them. So that's, that was good. Uh, so that is Beta Ray Jim, who normally sells on Strictly Comics auctions. They've kind of scaled back their uh, auction offerings, but uh, he still does an awful, awful lot of them. But that's what I've got. Let me know down in the comments below what you've been picking up. Let me know, have you been making it out to cons? At the time of this taping, New York Comic Con is in full swing. Would have been a great con to have visited. Uh, timing just didn't work out, but New York and San Diego, I think are probably the two biggest one, um, and two biggest cons that is, um, and uh, two that I definitely want to get out to uh, at some point in the future. So we'll see. Uh, how that works out but let me know if you're getting out to the cons and maybe picking up some goodies out there seeing the folks getting reacquainted to maybe life a little bit more normal do appreciate everybody for watching and until next time keep reading and keep collecting adios